store for you today. It's a clash of two of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. It's Aaron Rodgers going up against Tom Brady. With that, let's send you up to a snowy Foxborough, Massachusetts, where we'll check in with our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis at Jacob Stadium. Well, the radar says the heavy stuff still a few hours away, but snow is falling as we near kickoff at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Welcome again, one and all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Brandon Gordon on hand alongside Charles Davis. And yes, the storyline here, the weather. Snow and more of it expected as this game continues. So how will that impact how this one goes? Can these teams ignore the distraction and the strangeness of playing in a snow game? Because it actually affects the crowd as well. That big roar you get is often muffled when there's a snow game. And the second part, what's the footwear you got on? Does that fit the turf you're playing on? And how will it handle as things get a little bit slick? Field it about a yard deep. <laughs> Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers bringing out the offense here. And the Packers' whole season in 2017 obviously went south against the Vikings. Week six, that was the collarbone injury to Aaron Rodgers. He came back against the Panthers, thought they might recover, couldn't get into the playoffs. It was a strange season in Green Bay, wasn't it? It certainly was, and now there have been a lot of changes since the season ended in Green Bay because there will be a new offensive coordinator. There will be a new defensive coordinator. Obviously, there are going to be some new players that are coming in. But as long as Aaron Rodgers is piloting this team, they will remain a contender if he's healthy. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Neutral zone infraction, defense. They'll step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know, defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. going to give this one to Montgomery and to the 42 yard line here and brought down there and five yards on the play there as the drive will continue I think many people thought Ty Montgomery would automatically go back to being a wide receiver this year but it appears he's going to stay at running back I know they drafted Jamal Williams from BYU but Montgomery proving his worth and he proved it yeah proved it last year 5.4 yards per carry fourth best in the league so it'll be first down here after the run Now a play fake here on first down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback right in the face of him puts him down. And now the offense will look to respond after the sack. On second down, Montgomery. A great move by Montgomery. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. That burst good for 20 and a first down. 
That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels, you know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. I'm going to try to continue that trend here this afternoon. And now a first down following that long gain. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Well, sometimes a tough game to figure out. One play, he looks so good, and then the next play, so bad, going backwards. Yeah, in a span of two plays, you go from hero to goat, right? To use one of the cliches. But I think what often happens is you have a big run, and sometimes you try and do too much with your next one. Second down, here's Rodgers. And an alley to run. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. This is Williams, and he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Really tough drive, but that run helped salvage something there because now there's something positive that came out of it. They got to see good blocking, good push by the offensive line, wide receivers trying to get involved, a good run by the back, and now maybe it'll be a catalyst for them to look at going forward, watching it on tape, Maybe they can keep incorporating that type of a run into their offense. Again, it's Williams. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Two yards on the pickup there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. So the offense has it first and 10. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. throw with Rodgers and Rodgers has it over on the right side and he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11 now after the completion we're going to get a timeout an injured player we'll get a report when we return to Foxborough
Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive, but this is third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. So when you saw him dump it off to the back, did you think he was going to pick up the first down there? <laughs> well, I knew one thing. It wasn't his primary target. At least it didn't look like it. Turned out to be the play they needed, though. And it's big because it's the opening drive. So converting that third down, keeping the play, not the play, the drive going. Yeah, certainly appeared like his downfield targets were covered. He threw the little dump off to, the, to his back. And nice effort picking up the first down, though. And you're right. That opening drive, keep those chains moving. Throwing now is Rodgers. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Holden, offense. Umpire threw the flag, usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Following the penalty, Montgomery. <laughs> A big hit. Knocked out sideways. So one quarter in the books on a cold December afternoon. Nothing, nothing, our score. And we'll return to Foxborough after this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter about to get underway with the Packers in possession of the football. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. And the seemingly endless drive continues. Rodgers to throw on second down. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They'll still have a third and goal now despite picking up 13 yards on that pass play. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away. Touchdown, Packers! Devontae Adams from four yards out. And the Packers take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Boy, that route is really tough to cover because if they're running it correctly, you think it's really going to be a slant. Yeah, well, we talk all the time about how it's tough to execute offensively, but you're saying, don't forget, it's tough to cover for the defense, too. Yeah, the number one thing that you're taught is to not get caught inside or get beat inside. So you guard that a little bit more. So that gives you a little bit more space to operate outside if you start to move initially inside if you're a receiver. And his kick is good. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And the result, a Green Bay score. beyond now to kick it away this will be taken in at the one <laughs> and he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22 yard line 
Tom Brady ready to lead the New England Patriots onto the field. Well, five Super Bowl rings will have to be enough, at least for now. The crazy thing is that you and I were talking about, Charles, what are the chances he would throw for 500 yards in the Super Bowl? Patriots never punted, and they lost. That doesn't make any sense. None. Because when that happens, his team wins. I mean, I don't think it's ever happened in NFL history. He's the oldest league MVP at the age of 40. He's got plenty left. We'll see him back out there. Yeah, I know you're not doubting him for that sixth Super Bowl, no, Rick. No, not at all. Carry for the shifty Deion Lewis. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Play action. Now it's Brady. He's got a man complete. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Not the tallest receiver on the field, but he just shouted to admit that the little guy can't go downfield and make a big time catch on a deep pass because sometimes they'll just out scrap you for the football. down Brady and a first hook up with his all pro tight end Rob Gronkowski a good pick up there eight yards on the first down completion seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays makes me glad I didn't make it in that league I would have had a really difficult time but now you get to sit up here with me yeah and that's fun isn't it <laughs> and what a really nice game right there on first down for them brings up a nice second down for them They fake the handoff. Now Brady. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Holding offense. Well, they were looking to throw. Holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. Usually going to pick up a holding call. And the offense will be looking to get at least some of this yardage back here. It's second and 12. Now a play fake. Brady. He's going to go for a big play downfield. Oh, nearly picked. Yeah, maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. Throwing is Brady on third down. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. On fourth down on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. Trevor Davis deep for Green Bay. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. The New England defense gearing up to take the field. And a touchdown given up the last time they were out there. So maybe need to refocus a little bit. And make sure that they don't start finger pointing with each other. Because oftentimes when a touchdown's given up, you say, okay, where did that happen? Who broke down? Who gave it up? 
Instead, just go back out there, be a unit again, and try and play a little bit better. Yeah, we'll see if they can play a little bit better on this drive. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back to Foxborough after this. A reminder coming up at halftime while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box. We'll yes. be sending you to Orlando where Larry Ridley will have highlights and analysis of this first half. Send me to Orlando, please. Don't, don't be so soft. Play fake to Montgomery. Now Rodgers. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. the gun. It's Rodgers. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Holding offense. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it. Brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. On fourth down, here's Justin Vogel on to punt it away. Back deep, Danny Amendola for New England. Good kick, 49 yards, just three on the return. And the Patriots take over. So the football switching hands here in just a second. And, you know, Tom Brady, just to go off on a tangent for a second, may have lost the Super Bowl. But third MVP this past season, and what he did at age 40, really something, right, Charles? Absolutely phenomenal. Ended up beating out Todd Gurley, the running back for the Los Angeles Rams. But he would have traded it for a Super Bowl win, don't you think? How about this? The last nine NFL MVPs to play in the Super Bowl that same season, 0-9. Yeah. Well, yeah all the way back to Kurt Warner in, what, 1999, where he won the double? We were going over that stat earlier. That is hard to believe. But he would have been the MVP had the Patriots pulled that one out. He still has five rings, though. Five Super Bowl titles for Brady. Sets up the screen to Lewis. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 14. To throw is Brady. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. They'll run it here. This is James White. And now a timeout coming from the defensive side for the Packers. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. Yeah. 
Here's Ryan Allen now as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. This is taken at the 23. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. But before the possession switches here, I had written down that I wanted to talk about some of the awards this past season in the NFL. We know Brady was the MVP, but Todd Gurley, Offensive Player of the Year. How about that for a bounce back? Many were questioning whether he'd had a sophomore slump the season before. Didn't even get to 1,000 yards. Was a dominant force in 2017. How about his teammate Aaron Donald yeah. on the defensive side? He took home Defensive Player of the Year award. Yeah, very impressive. They had both sides of the ball. Sean McVay deserving, I think you would agree, of Coach of the Year. Yeah, definitely. I mean, what he did for the Rams when they went from last in the league in scoring to leading the league in scoring and winning a division title. And how about the New Orleans Saints? Rookie of the year, offense and defense. Alvin Kamara on offense, Marshawn Lattimore on defense. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. That's complete to his tight end. This is Lance Kendricks. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop him with a tick under a minute to go before half. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. lining up first and ten. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. What's the old adage? Be quick but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be getting rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Rodgers now throwing again. Let's it go for Nelson. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because that incompletions are first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. The Packers on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Rodgers to throw once more. Let's it fly deep for Cobb. So they took a shot there on third down. Couldn't get it. Now it's four. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. On now is the Packers punter. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. I want to give a hat tip real quick, Charles, to J.J. Watt before the possession switches here. Walter Payton, NFL Man of the Year. They totaled up how much he helped raise for hurricane relief, $37 million. Incredible. Hurricane Harvey, which really hit the Houston area in a big way, and his original goal was $200,000. So <laughs> congratulations to J.J. Watt and all the people who participated. And Greg Olson of the Panthers, Benjamin Watson of the Ravens, both tight ends, also nominated and finalists for the most prestigious award as determined by the NFL, the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. 
Brady now on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Kenny Clark coming up the middle, gets him there for a loss of about nine. Now that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down the coast to Orlando, where we check in with our friend Larry Ridley and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Okay, Brandon, thanks. And welcome, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get to the highlights. Both the Patriots and Packers are having some trouble moving the ball through the air. The yardage totals are low, and that's helped play into what was a low-scoring first half. All right, let's get straight to it. Here's some highlights from the first half. Now first and 10, defense will win the battle and get the sack. This goes for a loss of four. Pass was nailed later on the drive. Quick pass and catch by Devontae Adams. And they cap off the drive with the score as they take a 7-0 lead. First and 10, Lawrence is going to push his way to the QB here. This goes for a loss of nine. So that'll do it for us here in Orlando for the call of the second half. Let's hand it back over to Brandon and Charles. Brandon. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. Oh, look at that. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And I think he was able to get back on it. He was. So they will get the ball after all, but that could have been a disaster. I didn't do this in college, but I did it in high school. When you return kicks <laughs> and you lose it yourself, the panic that goes through you and the determination to get the ball back, I don't even know how to describe it. And I think we just saw an example there. Yeah, and the relief when you get it back <laughs> like he did. Yeah, you go to the sidelines, you know you're going to get yelled at, but you can handle it because you got the ball back. Start things on first down with Deion Lewis. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Brady to throw on second down. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially not with Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah, who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? They're down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. By 20. By 20. By 20. By 20. By 20. From the 
the gun. It's Brady. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Another drive comes and goes. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. But you just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Here's Ryan Allen now. Standing right on his own five-yard line. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. Taken in at the 22. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. A little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. Working from the gun, Rodgers. <laughs> and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and they're going to have a third down. on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. Here's Rodgers operating from the gun. He's got his target. It's Cobb. Rodgers to Cobb. Good for a Green Bay first. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them because on the catch you can actually be pushed back before the first down. He's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. They go play action here on first down. Now look out, Rodgers. Lost the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Playing the snow brings so many other factors into the game. It's not just trying to take care of the ball. And we just saw there that that's difficult to do. But just trying to keep your feet and carry out your assignments and, and make sure you're comfortable while you're out there playing. Are you warm enough in your clothing? A million things going on. But the biggest one, hold on to the ball. So the Patriots coming out now. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. And a great spot to start this drive from here. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Brady. This will be caught inside the 10. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. That's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. 
And now the offense operates in the red zone. Brady gives this one to Lewis. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Deion Lewis, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness. You've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's right. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory excellent field position two plays later pay dirt Goskowski now out to kick it away This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Room here to run. Dashing through the snow. Past the 20. 10. Touchdown, Packers. Jeff Janis with officially a 103-yard return. And the Packers add six to their lead. That was a special return. And it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from his special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. But let's be honest. A lot of times when they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong. Sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? Yeah, exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules. And if you do, you're taking on some responsibility. But he was happy to do so there. Now Crosby for the point after. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. to six. So that one officially goes down to the books as a return for a touchdown of the kickoff of 103 yards. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. This fielded at the two. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. It's Brady. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Clay Matthews from his outside linebacker spot, forcing the sack for a loss of eight. Well, that's the second time they've gotten to Brady, and you've got to do it a variety of ways. You want your regular pressure. Sometimes you have to bring extra. But in this case, they got to him, and that just doesn't happen very often. It's a rarity. He's just such a veteran. His pocket presence so good. But, hey, tip of the cap to the D. Check, check. 
And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll run it now, out of the gun. But despite a little sizzle on the move, he's still tackled shy of the 20. Only two yards on the carry. That's going to set up a third and long, third and 15 to be exact. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. New England on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and 15. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And that is incomplete. But no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. Here's Ryan Allen now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. as we've come to the end of the third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough as we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage looked defensively. Rodgers hands to Montgomery. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Six there on first. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Second down and four. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Rodgers finding Adams for a Packer first. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. 
And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time, he might actually pop one of these runs. But the bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. So second and ten here. Keep pounding here with Montgomery. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. The Packers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and 11. Now the man from UTEP. This is Aaron Jones. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. And there is nothing easy about being a kicker on a day like this. Yeah, I tell you, not only is the footing tough in the snow, but kicking that ball is like kicking a rock. Very difficult to get any sort of feel on your kicks. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most, exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. turn to Foxborough. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock.
look to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Clock running here under 90 seconds to go. They'll look to throw. It's caught out right Amendola. Yeah, he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Back to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. He was unable to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Now Brady got to have this one. And this is caught. It's pulled in by Gronkowski. The decision to go for it pays off, and now they're set up first and goal. First down now, but that clock rolling. And with the clock ticking under 50 seconds now, he spikes it. Defensively, you pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly what you do. It's both because <laughs> they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. And if you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. Now Brady. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? Likely the play of the game here. Trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And that is incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Rodgers handing to Montgomery. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you watch high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Well, partner, 
partner, there's something special about a game in the snow. Just always fun in these elements, although a little chillier up here in the open air booth. The only thing that's not fun is that we got the mid game notification that our flight was canceled tonight, but we'll deal with that later. It was really a fun game to watch, though. It was, and there is something special about games played in the snow because. The element of surprise really kicks in. You don't know how they're going to handle the ball. If someone's going to make a dramatic play just out of nowhere, and all of a sudden it just changes the course of things. But a big shout-out to our crew to make sure that we were comfortable up here, as comfortable as one could be. In these elements, they took care of us and made sure we were dressed properly. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. And with that, we say so long 